video we'll go through how long you should aim to exercise for as well as exercise intensity. So before you start any exercise during your pregnancy, you want to consult with your healthcare provider about how to adapt your exercise program to your pregnancy. When you exercise, always listen to your body and if something doesn't feel right or is causing discomfort, stop the activity and seek advice. So what type of exercise should you do when you're pregnant? Well, you want to aim for low impact, smooth and controlled exercise styles these are ideal to ensure that you are looking after your pelvic floor, your breast comfort and your back and joints. Avoid high impact exercise, so jolting and straining type moves. At all times check and always correct for great posture and healthy core and pelvic floor recruitment. You want to avoid contact sports and activities that involve a high risk of falls or blows to your abdomen. And you're going to benefit from including a range of exercise styles into your pregnancy, including low impact, some cardiovascular exercise, some low load strength training, mobility, flexibility, and relaxation, plus those all important posture, core, and pelvic exercises. So how hard should you exercise during pregnancy? Well, there are several reasons why mums to be are encouraged to exercise at a mild to moderate level. This is less stressful for both your baby and for your body. It avoids overheating due to raised core temperature and there is less joint and pelvic floor stress. How much you can do within this moderate intensity depends on your fitness, but as a guide on an exercise intensity scale of 0 to 20, you should feel like you're working at around 12 to 13. So how long should you exercise for during pregnancy? Well, the duration of your exercise needs to be balanced with the intensity of your exercise. If you're just taking a leisurely walk, you may be quite comfortable, comfortable to walk for an hour, whereas 20 minutes is going to be plenty when working more intensely on a stationary bike, for example. Everyone is different. If you are used to exercise, you will probably be quite comfortable with a moderate cardiovascular session for 20 to 30 minutes, followed by a low load strength conditioning session for about 20 minutes. But if you are starting a fitness plan during your pregnancy, aim for five to 10 minutes and then build up slowly. As a guide, when you finish exercising, you should feel like you have exercised, but you shouldn't feel like you're absolutely worn out and exhausted. Everyone is different, so listen to your body and follow the guidelines to ensure the intensity and style of exercise suits you and your situation. So let's go through some general guidelines to help you develop a safe and effective pregnancy fitness program. So you want to start lightly and progress gradually if you have been previously sedentary or you've had several weeks of rest, perhaps in the first trimester. Exercise regularly, so aim for about three to five sessions a week. Include a mix of moderate low impact cardiovascular exercise, do some strength training, some pregnancy specific exercise so that you cover mobility, flexibility and relaxation. Monitor the intensity of your workouts and make sure you sip water before, during and after you exercise. Ensure that you're doing smooth, controlled movements and techniques when exercising, avoiding any bouncing, jolting or extreme range of movement. Avoid contact sport during your pregnancy and like I've said, vary your exercise routine to keep things interesting. Include some pelvic floor training, some core stability and some postural training as well. Prioritize posture and core stability during strength exercise and check that your weights are at a level that allows you to breathe with ease when you're doing that movement. It is important to include stretching at the end of a workout to maintain muscle length and flexibility. Make sure you stretch within comfort and normal range of movement. And you can complement your pregnancy fitness program with a healthy, fresh diet, lots of water and plenty of sleep. It's also a good idea to include some relaxation each day, half an hour while resting or going to sleep or five minutes after your exercise session. The ability to relax yourself is going to come in very handy during labor and those early weeks of motherhood.